everyone, so I finally have a chance to do some more videos. I have a really long list, as I told you guys, so I'm going to get to it. Uh, this first video is going to be a video regarding the Balea face masks. Um, well, actually, there, there's going to be a hair mask in here, too, so I guess uh, just the Balea masks. Um, I came across these recently at Shoppers Drug Mart because my mother brought home a couple different masks from Europe and they were really great so it's unfortunate that she could only bring so much and so when I saw something similar at Shoppers Drug Mart I got really really excited and I had to buy some so I'm going to go through the ones that I've tried and um, give you my thoughts, say what I like, say what I don't, say what I'd recommend, etc, etc. And there's a few of them, so I'll get started. So, this is the first one. All of them look like this. They say, uh, Balea, and then face, hair, or, uh, feet, something like that. Then they'll give you the name of the mask, usually something to do with what it does. This one's called the Purifying Face Mask, and what's in it is at the bottom. And then the back has all the instructions, what it's supposed to do more specifically, and yeah. So, this is the Balea Purifying Face Mask, and it's open, as you can see, because I figured I should probably use them before I... Uh, put them on YouTube because what am I going to say really? It's like, hi, I bought this. Good for you, right? Um, so this is a peel-off mask and I'm actually kind of disappointed. I've tried only a couple peel-off masks, but this was really, really, really mediocre. It didn't seem to do much for me and I wouldn't recommend it because there's so many other great masks that I wouldn't spend money on this one since it really doesn't seem to uh, have much of an effect nor is it great at the peel off part so this one gets a 3 out of 10 next is the sorry that looks a little gross but um, I had to try it out so this is the Balea chocolate nourishing mud mask for your face um, awesome love it love it love it love it so this gets like an 8 and when you put it on, it looks like chocolate pudding, and it smells like chocolate pudding, and it's amazing. Uh, it really does nourish, as it says it does. Um, your skin feels soft, it feels kind of replenished, I guess. And when it dries, which is what it's supposed to do, it, um, it looks like dry mud. I like it. The first couple times I put it on, it did s sort of, it w didn't sting as in hurt. It was just a little uncomfortable, but I didn't get any redness or anything, so don't be concerned if that's what it feels like for you. Uh, just keep it on and wash it off when it's uh, dry. But as always with face masks, uh, you should really put it on like a patch of skin somewhere else, or even a little patch of skin on your face to test it out. Make sure you don't you're not allergic to anything, because who can really know if you're allergic to like aqua, kaolin, glycerols? D A R A S E Benton, like, come on, nobody's gonna know, right? There's stuff like peanuts, and that's obvious, but this stuff, you never know. So, that's that. Eight out of ten, love it. If you guys like chocolate, you'll love it even more. I don't really like chocolate flavored stuff or scented or any of that, but love. So, I really recommend it. Next is the detoxifying face mask top part's cut off but you can still see a detoxifying face mask and this has uh, lotus flower and ginseng in it I have a fair bit left um, this one's kind of mediocre it, it doesn't have this really really great effect and again since there's so many better ones I wouldn't re really recommend buying this one but detoxif- oh gosh Detoxifying face masks are like, they um, are supposed to draw out like all the pollution and gross gunk out of your skin. 
So I guess if that's something you would be focused on, then by all means. Balea does make good face masks, so I guess it depends on the person really, the effect you get, I guess. But all of these, by the way, are mostly leave on until it dries and then wash off. And it dries pretty fast, depending on how much you put on. So that's that. By the way, the chocolate nourishing mud mask had uh, cocoa and shea, shea butters in it. And the purifying has jasmine and cactus flower extract. Next is the hydrating face mask. Hydration's great, so uh, this one gets like a seven, six or seven, and this has sweet almond oil and vitamin A in it. Uh, does it have some magnificent, like, oh my god, my skin's so nourished and hydrated? I don't know. Um, but it's definitely up there with the chocolate mud mask because it does leave your skin feeling good, and I just, I don't know, you just get this feeling, you just know when it's good or not. That sounds really stupid, but, <laughs> um, so that's a recommendation, especially for dry skin. I have oily skin, so maybe that's why I didn't have this enormous, uh, effect on me. Alright, this one is the calming, wow, I kind of cut off the C there, calming face mask with aloe vera and mint. Love. Um, I have, my skin struggles with, like, redness and just lots of different colors. My skin isn't discolored. It just, I don't know, it just appears that way. And it's a pain. So this really calms um, my skin on my face. And I don't like the smell much. I don't like the mintiness. But it does have a nice effect. A generous effect. So that gets an 8. 8 or a 9. 8 overall. 9 for what it does, I guess. Uh, and that has the same sort of instructions as the rest of them. But yeah. Finally, there's the warming face mask, which I haven't actually tried yet because I picked up a not a good uh, individual thing because it's kind of like hardened. So I have to put it in some hot water to uh, soften it up. The others weren't like this. I just wasn't paying attention. I was in a hurry and I grabbed this one. Um, so this is supposed to be a self-heating vitamin mask that opens and cleanses pores. It says, feel the benefit as the active ingredients of grapefruit and lime work in combination with rich clay to help open the pores, allow impurities to be drawn out of the skin. Uh, high in vitamin C and vitamin E content, this mask cleanses eliminating excess oils and leaves skin feeling moisturized and deep cleansed. Can't tell you if that works yet, but when I do try it out, I will let you guys know as soon as I can. And this has grapefruit and vitamin E in it. I think that's all of them except for the hair mask which um, I used up and my mom threw it out. So that one was a defrizzing mask and I think it was um, citrusy. Something with citrus. And I actually liked that one a lot. I found that my hair was like really soft and just manageable, workable. So that was a good one. Um, I can't show you a picture or anything, but I'll probably be buying it again, so when I do, I'll just make an update and sort of let you guys know that that's what it's about, and I'll show you that one. Uh, that is basically all of them. Uh, definitely recommend checking out your Shoppers Drug Mart or wherever you are, um, a Drug Mart, see if that's something they offer there. These are, um... They're a buck sixty-seven, I think. Depending on where you go, that's where I got at the shoppers I got them from. They were a buck sixty-seven, but I find that I go to other shoppers and they're more expensive, like generously more expensive. So I don't know what's up with that, but uh, just so you know, that's the cheapest price I've seen, a buck sixty-seven, I think. And I definitely recommend them. They're good. They're uh, what's good about these is that they come in the well in these small packets so you, you can use the depending on which one it is you can use it two or three times I guess sometimes up to four but sometimes only once um, and that's good because other face masks like you where you open it take some out use it and do that for like months it it air gets in there and it just messes things up so these kind of couple use ones are great 
and that way you can try out a bunch of them. Another thing is uh, don't use masks too often. There's a reason it says use weekly or use whatever. It's it's a good thing, but in like what's it called? In I don't know. Anyway, it's a good thing as long as you don't overdo it. By the way, these flowers here. Uh oh, I'm kind of wrecking them. I was like rubbing up against them and. One is totally ruined. Um, I got these from my boyfriend yesterday. It was my birthday yesterday. So he got me flowers and other stuff. Just in case you wanted to know. Which you probably didn't, but that's okay. And yeah, that's about it for this video. 10 minutes and 35 seconds long. This is not good. Somebody needs to tell me to hurry up. I should have like a person at the side like timing me. Alright, uh, that is it. For now, I'm going to make other videos right after I click stop. Uh, stay beautiful, comment, like, and subscribe.